Hello and welcome back. This is part two of the new CNC table video series and in this video we'll be taking a look at the finished frame and the first gantry that I made for that. In the first video I talked about how I wanted to build the frame and where I wanted to set the table. Um, that I wanted to place the motor um, in the center and I've gone ahead and I've built everything um, up to a point that it's uh, just fixed down, it's not tightened fully yet um, but the form is the way that I want it to stay. Um, the belt is simply held between both sides of the table um, it's wound around the stepper motor and it has good contact and it has uh, very good tightness. Um, the belt can be tightened simply by expanding the lead screws um, holding the table the, the table set together and uh, when the table moves um, its frame also moves so if I have a uh, piece of wood or a piece of aluminum that I fix down on here um, it will be very um, very well protected against flex and it will be able to withstand um, a high amount of pressure from above and after I was done with that I started building a new gantry and new parts for holding the stepper um, these look like this and they're constructed um, a bit more complicated than I had thought in the beginning um, mainly because if I have the belt um, which is tightened between the two ends I will have some force on the gantry itself and because these parts are 3D printed they're not as hard as you might want to have them so I added two more threaded rods in the middle here and I spread it out the um, uh, the, the gantry slides up here and I'll be using linear, ba linear bearings on here so everything got a little bit more complicated than I had uh, intended to do it but I think it's gonna work out pretty well when I'm done with this um, the table will have a usable uh, workspace of about 14 by 14 centimeters it's a little bit smaller than I had planned especially because um, the base is so extremely big but basically you lose every every part of the um, of the construction for movable space um, because you can't just move away or through there so I'll be able to move from here uh, to here and that will be okay um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that will suffice I will have a lot or, or I will have the possibility to put some pressure on here which is also good and I'm pretty confident that the gantry uh, will hold up uh, I also uh, made the idler uh, which is located here and this idler consists of simply a piece of threaded rod um, with two bearings on it and the belt will be going around it like this and uh, I think that will be um, good enough and uh, I'm hoping that it will work really good so this is where I'm right now I'll be I'll be adding some other camera angles um, to give you a better impression of uh, of the sizes and and of the distances the only issue that I have right now is uh, that the distance between table and gantry will be about one centimeter or less so this will be good for engraving I don't know engraving on some PCB or maybe if you mount a laser you will be able to uh, cut 
cut simple things. Um, I'm not sure about the gantry the way it is now. I might make one that is uh, higher than this one. But the construction um, looks very good for a start and it looks very sturdy. So uh, I might be sticking with that. That's where I'm right now. Um, the next parts will be to make the uh, uh, to make the holder for a tool. I've started on that, but it's turning out to be more complicated. Um, so I might need some time on that. But that's where I'm going right now. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to put together the x-axis, y-axis, and electronics, and put it through th through some tests. And then I'll report back. So for now, this is it. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.